And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to rumble! Folks, welcome to the uh, Rumble Ferrati. Uh, I'm here with my brother Craig. I'm Ed. We're the Eft Brothers. We're just Eft. And we are watching a tremendous match here between the uh, the Confederate Playboy and uh, well, he's not D-Ray 3000 at the time of this. He's like his less talented little brother, Don Crisis. Hey. Oh, uh, we are. Uh, well, no, we're not glad to be here. It's part of our work parole, but we figured we'd call this action as, as best we can for you fans. You know, when I won this video on eBay for $3, I thought I was getting a diamond in the rough. I just realized it was a turd in a box. <laughs> and not a very nice box, even. No, not at all. What can we say? We're all here tonight to help raise money for... Something. Yeah, something or other. <laughs> Who knows? I mean, it's hard to say from what you see walking around. It's, it's kind of kind of disappointing all the way. But this is the most people I saw at the Alameda Hall in years, so something at least happened good in Dearborn. Yeah, oh, you can't beat the charming sights of downtown Dearborn here at the Alameda Hall. Just in case you didn't have enough Islam in your life, welcome to downtown Dearborn. Near fall. Near fall by Don Crisis on the Syrian playboy. Wow, what what back and forth stellar action. Uh, you know, Craig, this just may turn out to be the match of the night. It wouldn't be hard to believe. <laughs> Have you seen the rest of the card? <laughs> it does kind of go downhill from here. And I mean, let's face it, any card that gives you such luminary names as uh, 
the the best thing going, Kurt Chaos. Or how about that K Wall? Ooh, K Wall. You know it'd be better if his gimmick was KY. <laughs> yes, but then Flamin' Damon Starr might have a little too much fun in a match with him. True. So true. Oh, uh, like we said, folks, they are all here tonight. Plus, we actually have some wrestling talent on, on the card. Yeah, they have the Bumpin' Uglies in Gutter versus the Threat. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, we weren't supposed to reveal that it's Gutter yet. That's oh, a, that's, shit. That's a big dramatic point that's coming up later. Oh, well. I don't yeah. think anybody, if, if you want, rewind it and just forget <laughs> I said that. Uh, yeah. If, if you make it to the main event of this show. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> you, you'll have forgotten this by now, by then, anyhow, so. We're not really going to sweat it. Uh, and obviously, we're not the only ones here not sweating much of anything. No, look, look at the crowd reaction to this match. Wow, I haven't seen this many limp bodies at a morgue. Wait till the next match. Ooh, true, true. But you're right, by the third match, some of them have started to leave the building already. So they do get fewer in number as we go. You know, usually at a charity show, people, you know, try to, you know, be attentive and try to make it worthwhile but there's really nothing here worthwhile no there's a there's only so much you can do i mean don crisis is a funny man and he works some great comedy matches so what does big bubble luscious have booked here the syrian playboy versus don crisis in a straightforward match yeah we're not going to get any of the comedy spots that these guys are good at no it's you know that, that's why i don't book this shit <laughs> I'm not really sure that anybody did. Uh, I saw some scraps of paper around the restroom. <laughs> it is the Almada Hall, so you know they weren't toilet paper. It's true, very true. The nicest thing, though, was the flyers they were handing out before the show. Some quality artwork on those flyers. Yeah? Oh, yeah. It's all, all the penciled-in stuff, all the information you ever want to know about Roddy Hogan, who I guess is the reason why we are here. Yeah, you can't blame us, folks. If it wasn't for Roddy, we wouldn't be here. You wouldn't be watching this video, and our parole officer wouldn't be standing behind us making sure we call the action. Action? <laughs> what action? That's right. That's why we really are. You know, that's why we took this and said, yeah, we'll take that. Yeah, this, this should be easy. Well, we'll call all the action. If any occurs, we'll be right here to call it. Oh, oh that looks oh, like a move. Yeah. It's kind of a muffed move, but, yeah, but, but a move it, nonetheless. It is shot well. It is, yeah, and, and, you know, he's he's a hell of a trainer. And he's trying very hard. Yeah, he's got that cool Confederate flag tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> I still just confuse me about the whole Syrian Confederacy thing, but, you know. Uh, yeah, I'm sure at some point in their deep, long history that Syria must have had a civil war. And <laughs> Shotwell's ancestors apparently are from the southern part of Syria. There you go. It was such a good gimmick back then, they decided <laughs> to recycle it. <laughs> Oh, let's all woo for some chops. Even Four Star looks bored this match. Well, yeah. <laughs> He's actually like got to be out there and pretend he cares. He and I get to sit here and drink a cold oh, beverage. Hey, look at that. Hey, 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 hey. One down. How many, how many more do we have to sit through? More and more and more. This video goes on forever. It only seems like forever. <laughs> but but Don Crisis is is our winner, uh, getting the pin on the Syrian Playboy, as I'm sure our ring announcer Krusty Diamond will remind us at some point through the evening. He is the most handsome man in wrestling. And uh, well, I guess if I was Krusty Diamond, he'd start to look pretty good to me too. But but he does look good. Thank it. God I'm not. We'll be back with more of this crap. Oh, there, there's our, our special guest of honor, yeah. Roddy Hogan, sucking out of that $5 Almada beer. There's something special about Roddy, all right. Hey, 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 look, is that Brian Gorey in the ring? No, this guy's more over than Brian Gorey's uh, ever thought of being. It can't be Brian Gorey. Anybody's more over than Brian Gorey. I, I do believe that Spider's ducks are more over than Brian Gorey. Tulip ducks? <laughs> Oh, what kind of crap fest do we have coming up here? I don't know. I wish Dusty Diamond would take the mic out of her mouth and at least spit out who's coming in to the <laughs> ring. <laughs> That's a, oh, it's, it's one of the Cole brothers. Chuck, Bob, Ray, whatever his name is. Who cares? We're, we're just going to call him Dick. Dick Cole. I think Dick works for him. Hi, Roddy. Get away from us, please. 
Leave, come on. Just quit touching me there. <laughs> come on, Craig. It's the most effed action you've had in a while. Yeah, this is just plain effed up. <laughs> You know, th this thing would be a lot better if we changed everybody's gimmick. You know, if he was like Bulldog Cold. You know, or just, you know, we could just basically go through booking sheets from the 70s and just reuse all those old gimmicks. Seems to work for somebody else, I've heard. Well, you know, I'm a big fan of changing people's gimmicks. All right, from now on, it's Bulldog Cold, and who's this loser coming out? I don't know, Come on. Apparently he's lost. This way. Yeah, over here. Through the curtain. No, no, curtain. Curtain. Through the curtain. Woo! Come on. Yeah. Sometime today. Oh, uh, well, you know, when you're a big time star, you gotta make a big time entrance. Oh, and yeah, this... real big time. <laughs> Who the fuck is this, Greg? I have no idea, but he has a nice helmet. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I bet you can buy that in like toys or dust. No, yeah, well, you probably actually, if you wait till Halloween's over with, you can get it the same kind of get-up for, like, 15 bucks. <laughs> That's why it took him so long to come through the curtain, though. He had to tip part of the curtain down to wrap it around his shoulders. True. Does anybody know what the fuck this dude's name is? You know, his mom's probably pissed the shower curtains are missing. Looks like it might have been his mom's dress. It's, uh... Oh, oh. I guess, uh... Wait, wait. Star? I don't know. Monster? Don't we have production notes somewhere around here? Oh, that's <laughs> right. <laughs> no, because this is the Amada Hall. They ran out of toilet paper. Well, he just, you know, walks softly and carry a big stick, I guess, as part of his gimmick. But, you know, even Buford Pusser didn't carry that something. That's stupid. <laughs> Buford Pusser wouldn't be caught anywhere near this building. I don't think he'd be allowed in Dearborn. <laughs> It's uh, Dick Cold and a uh, hockey star. The I thought it was Canadian. Bulldog Cold. Who, who knows? Oh, yeah, okay. Bulldog Dick Cold. <laughs> there we go. Big Dick Cold. It doesn't matter. We'll just change him later. Same on man, week. Big Dick Cold. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Are we worried about who's face and heel in any of this stuff? I, I don't think you could tell. Nobody's getting any reaction, so I don't think it matters. I know Art Mendez is more over than all these wrestlers. Who isn't Art Mendez over at this show? At this show? Well, I mean, if Gutter wasn't such a tool. That's true. Hey, that looks like show tunes. Um, yeah. He's probably getting a beer. Yeah, he's going to need several before this night's over. Anything to make this seem at least passable. Wow. We should, like... Get some sound effects guys in here or something. Please. Anything. I, I know I'm feeling the sound of a gigantic toilet flush. That's all I can hear is just that swirling and whooshing noise. Oh. When, 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 does, when does the referee get his spots in? I don't know. He's probably calling him right now. Come on, look at me. I'm over. <laughs> I'm over. Uh, you know, normally I, I would have to get on a referee for that, but... Christ in this schlock pile. He is more over. Uh -huh. Hey, look, the action's off camera again. Way to go, camera team. <laughs> oh, there you go, finally. Nothing but the finest production values here, Greg. You know, those $2 beers are starting to sound better and better. Yeah, they're still tasting pretty good. Oh, oh, boy. Now, Ed, does it look like the uh, warlock dude has a like a tutu on or something? It just something doesn't look right about him. Yeah, yeah, I believe that is a frou frou tutu, some sort of girly gimmick. So we guess we could call him the big gay warlock. Yeah. There he maybe is. he's Dick. Yeah, uh, big gay Dick the warlock. <laughs> could be. Who knows? But a uh, crusher, a cold here. Uh, is a bruiser cold. Who, who knows? I wish my dad would have left me a production sheet to use. <laughs> oh, boy, look at the... Uh... You know, if you're going to take the time to bother to put plunder in the ring, at least, you know, drop them on it. Well, that probably takes a little more skill than what we're seeing demonstrated in this match. Skill, huh? Ooh. No, not, not skills. Like, like Skills to pay the bills? Yeah. yeah no, no, it's... Skills like you know the same thing as talent. There seems to be a lack of. 
And, you know, the Cold Brothers actually can work good together. I just don't see why they wrestle as, you know, solo. Especially Singles matches. With, with whoever this clown is. I guess it's all good they showed up to work for free for a charity event. Yeah. You we, get probably, what you, we probably shouldn't pick on them. You get what you pay for, I hear. And that's what they got with this announce team tonight. That's right, folks. <laughs> and the production values certainly uh, are, are up to the level of our work. Aim low, you're never disappointed. Oh, there you go. He's u he's using the gimmick to choke him out. Uh, oh. I was waiting for that to happen. You know, you figure you're going to leave it by the ringside. It has to get used sometime in the match. And it, it, you know, it may be coming up again because referee, what, what's his name, is very careful to strategically position that in the corner again. Well, maybe the referee's waiting for his chance to use it on him. You know, it is a spot. There we go. Oh, boy, the, the, just the nonstop action here. Does it get any better? You know, I thought the first match might have been match of the night, but I'm pretty sure right now it is match of the night. <laughs> uh, yeah. We're, uh, we're not seeing much to contradict that theory. Wow. And uh, I, I guess we should let the fans know to, uh, if they want to. Keep watching at the end of the show because there is some really extra special bonus footage after the main event. Oh yeah, it's real good. <sighs> yeah. Um. Yeah, at least we're bringing the action back in the ring where we can see something. That's that's a nice <laughs> bonus. Yeah, I guess. Jeez, Craig, uh, do we really have to do this? You know, we have 40 minutes left on the clock. If we make it to the next 40 minutes, we should be okay. They might leave us alone. Let's get a beer. Oh, somehow I think this is going to go much longer than that. I think it's only going to feel longer. <laughs> it already does. Yes, it's true. But remember, kids, if you're going to try this at home, don't. <laughs> Take the time and get trained. Speaking of trained and not trained, <coughs> oh, boy, we've got just one heck of a battle royal coming up. Are you talking about the Ass Clown Battle Royal they have coming up later? The uh, Ticket Sellers Battle Royal? Ooh. <laughs> Actually, uh, that would be the normal Bubble Luscious show where they have the Ticket Sellers Battle Royal. Of in course. In this case, it was like a Ticket Buyers Battle Royal. I think if you bought a ticket, you can be in the show. You know, I think that was the $10 ticket I didn't want to buy. <laughs> I, should, I guess, you know, after seeing the Battle Royal, I should have spent the extra two bucks. <laughs> Uh, oh, his feet were on the ropes. Hey, at least good. he caught it. Yeah. Good, good call by the referee. Oh, you just... It, look, we... Yeah. You know, I just wish we had a fast forward on this. <laughs> I, I know you at home have a fast forward, but please, please, wait it out. It, it, it's worth it. It's, it's well worth it. No, it's not. No, no, I'm trying to make him believe it. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. This this is exciting action here. A big whip into the corner and uh, oh, and, uh, we missed miss that one. And, uh, everybody's laying down again. I don't think color would make this match better. What color? They bust each other open. Oh yeah. You're right. It wouldn't be. No. Oh, uh, we we can promise our fans are well. Nah, I don't need it. We can't even call them fans. No, I, I'm sorry. If you paid any money for this video, you're a bigger sucker than we are. Uh, at least we got to, you know, redo the audio. Uh, if you bought this on eBay for, for the five dollars that we're charging now, you know, it's a two buck markup over the three bucks we paid for it. And if somebody buys one copy, I at least you know break even. I don't know, because uh, we got a couple of those $2 beers that we're buying. No, oh, that's true. Yeah. Christ, it, it, no. No. Where's the camera guy? Cut the, cut the camera. We're not watching any more of this crap. Cut come on, the camera. No, i got to go to the no, bathroom. Come on, let's go. Yeah. Let's, let's go. We'll, we'll come back and listen to the promo later. And we're back with uh, Josh Mavado and Bubba McKenzie, the bumping uglies. Thank God they're here. Something has to happen. At least somebody with a little bit of wrestling ability finally showed up. And, well, we, all, we also have uh, Tooth Martini and uh, apparently Nate Madsen out there. They must have snuck in while we were in the can. That doesn't surprise me. Truth's a sneaky bastard. 
And uh, I'm sure old Krusty Diamond will be giving these guys a microphone here. Do we have to commentate during the Oh, Nate's already talking. Hey, you know, it's too bad we can't hear Nate on the stick. You know, too too bad the audio doesn't work very well. I guess we had the camera guy you can see with the red hat. Get the nice up close. You can actually hear what they're talking about. But I would give you the rundown. Basically, it's a lot of blah, 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 blah. Tables match later tonight. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, so. six-man thing. Uh... It's going to be the, the Threats tag team of uh, Truth Martini and Anthony Rivera, plus the, the leader of the Threat, Nate Matson, the IWR champion. The amazing Nate Matson. I think it's just the real Nate Matson. Well, is this real now? I don't think he's amazing anymore. Yeah, he probably got that taken away when he went to 3PW. Yeah, I think that costume is amazing. Maybe it was just working for my gallery and the costume is amazing. Oh! Oh! I was going to say, maybe Alex Shelley stole that gimmick. The amazing Alex Shelley. Could be. Christ, I, I would pay double if Alex Shelley was on this card. Well, actually, I'd just pay once if Alex Shelley was on this card. But uh, I guess the bottom line of this promo is that uh, Josh and Bubba, even though they weigh as much as the three members of the threat, uh, they are not three people, so for a six-man tag team. Is that Joey Styles there with the bald spot? No. It's hard to <laughs> say, but, you know, Roddy should get the hell out of the way. But anyhow, since, since uh, the bump and ugly... Oh, it's just camera birth. Yeah, Mr. Taj is not here tonight, dude. Don't be wasting any film. Hey, are those mirrors on his shoe? <laughs> yes, they are. Well, that doesn't surprise me at all. But uh, anyhow, uh, the, the bump and uglies need a third member, and... Uh, they're going to have a big surprise third member to, to join them tonight. Oops. Oh, yeah. We gave that away, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. I, I'd almost apologize about oh, it. Let's but. all Hulk out. Go, Roddy. You know, Bubba does a better Hulk Hogan than Roddy does. Yeah, but Bubba's got talent. That's true. And charisma. Yeah. And uh, a gimmick. That's three things Roddy doesn't have. Yeah, but Roddy's got a van. Lucky him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, the threat, the threat. Yeah, they're bad guys. Ooh, they're bad guys. Yeah, but they still got a better pop than uh, Roddy Hogan. Oh, well, yeah. I, the threat can wrestle. The threat have charisma. Now, as far as I know, the threat don't have arrest records. Or uh, social diseases. Uh, and I believe they all have home addresses. That's true. I guess, you know, having a DMV registration is not the same as having a home. <laughs> Apparently one is not required. Oh, geez. Well, we're we're going to come back with uh, the international superstar, Clunk the Clown, and a bunch of other crap. Do we up. have to? No. Well, it's time to see what Dusty Diamond does best and uses her mouth to tell you what's coming up in this match. That's not what I heard she does best. Uh, you know, there's a lot of rumors going around. Well, what's the one about pancakes? I don't oh, know. I don't know. Hey, the Prince of Windsor's in the house. Yeah, he looks real happy to yeah, be here. Yeah, he's headed for the exit. He's looking happy. <laughs> oh, well, I guess we, uh, we get clunked the clown and... Uh... But dunk o dunk yeah, managed by, by the, oh God, how far they've fallen. Managed by sports agent extraordinaire Alexander Kane. And speaking of Kane, there he is with the uh, circus sex symbol. Wow, that's being real generous, saying <laughs> sex symbol with that. Well, uh, you know, he, he uh, compared to the rest of the crap we've seen so far, I'm kind of glad to see Clunk. Yep, he's the bright spot of the tape so far. Oh, well, I mean, there, there is Big E Dub there in the front row. He's uh, the number one threat fan. Uh, somebody wake him up. Hey, you know, if you got to be known for something, at least be known for something useless. Uh, there are a lot of great fans here tonight who uh, probably feel pretty short change, Greg. Oh, yeah, when they were charging $8 at the door, I was thinking, what the fuck, $8 for this? But. Christ, for eight bucks, you can get a badunk dunk blowjob with a ticket. <laughs> oh! I thought they were seven fifty. <laughs> well, yeah, but then you know, fifty cents for chair rental. That's true, or the tip. 
Actually, it's 25 cents for chair rental, and 25 cents goes to the fund for some cancer victim battle and survivor thing. Unless Jaden, Jason Platten makes a run in on the cash box. Oh! You mean sticky fingers, Jason Platinum? <laughs> I didn't say that, did I? I didn't even imply that. Thank God they're not recording this shit. <laughs> <laughs> thank God nobody's going to see this shit. <laughs> and again, I'd like to thank the stellar camel work our camera team has done. You know, they've had plenty of time to swing on over and catch the beginning of the promo, but no, fuck no. <laughs> well, uh, you know, somehow I suspect this is not Mr. Kane's most stellar promo work anyhow. Yeah, that's true. It's not a Brawl for Braxton promo. <laughs> no, there's a no heat in this building. Yeah, that's true. Even well, in the summer, you couldn't get heat in this building. I know, Special Ed and Rivera, maybe. Oh, and there she is. Oh, my God. <laughs> is she blown up already? I don't know. It's like the Ike and Tina of professional wrestling. <laughs> which one's which? It's hard to say. I, I heard the, it's hard to figure out who's the bitch. Oh. But, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, nothing like a tight, well-scripted promo to, to get you right into the drama of the match. Wait, wait. Well, well scripted. Are you talking about Alexander Kane still at the, at the Rumble for Roddy? Uh, oh, there's some talent. Grady, the homeless Avenger. <laughs> Grady, the I don't need training. I've got a gimmick. Avenger. Whoa, whoa, whoa! He's he's a student of the Millennium Wrestling Federation in the abandoned mall in Toledo, Ohio. <laughs> yeah, like I said, Grady, I don't need training. I've got a gimmick. That's true, and when you watch him work, he is probably one of the best workers in this match. But just think, the best is yet to come. Yeah? Are they going to call the match because of rain? <laughs> we couldn't get that lucky. Are there, are there opponents in this match, or is it just a never-ending promo? I, I really think there are some opponents. I, I've, heard, I've heard good things about this guy from the guys in the back. I know Roddy Hogan was talking about pretty well. Seem to be one of his personal favorites. Yeah. Well, I can't hardly wait for that. Who's this guy? I have no idea. I think it was like Mr. Electricity or Mr. Excitement. But the only Mr. Electricity I know is a guy who actually wrestles out of the South who actually has a little bit of talent. So I don't know who the hell this ass clown is. What's this guy? Well, he's got nice tights. It's true. It looks like he cut the holes in them himself. You know that gimmick didn't get Brutus Barbaro, Brutus the Barber Beefcake over. I don't think it's gonna work for him. The cutting holes in his tights. Yeah. Not the end part. Sure, are you sure it didn't get Brutus over? I think the other things he got. To this guy, Brutus is over. Well, yeah, that's true. I guess compared to this guy, Roddy Hogan is over too. Yeah. yeah Brian Gorey's over. We want Gorey. We want gory. We want a gory ref bump. Yeah! That's what we want. A good gory, bloody, messy ref bump. Oh, uh, no. Who's his uh, intrepid tag team partner here? I don't know. He, uh, he was talking him up. Is it Bubba, Bubba Luscious? Luscious? It is a Michigan tradition. The promoter inserts himself into the match. At least, at least the main event. And don't forget the title chase. And uh, pretty honey. <laughs> Pretty much any other match that had potential to be exciting or interesting in some way. Yeah, because there's nothing kills heat faster than having the promoter come out. Especially when he cuts a promo after we've already had like 10 minutes of promo on this thing. You know, we should have actually got the stopwatch out and saw how much time was spent outside the ring on promos compared to how much time was wrestling. I think it's more like a 70-30, maybe an 80-20 kind of thing. Oh, but in this match, Craig, that's a good thing. It's true. The wrestling is going to suck, I'm sure. I don't even know who else is in this match. Yeah. Just Roddy Hogan was all excited about him being here. He, he was almost giddy like a schoolgirl. Yay, schoolgirls. How come we can't get chicks in this show? Have you seen who works it? Flamin' Damon Star! Woo! Yeah, that, that, you know, the gay gimmick never got anybody over. Nobody. Uh, oh, 
Is that a Gadrian street never been used? Yeah, he, you can you can tease it all you want, but just don't say it. And uh, well, I don't know if Damon Starr has ever said anything, but I know he teases a lot. <laughs> Yes, that's so true. Hey, good game, good game. Uh, you like to see that show of sportsmanship at the start of a match. At least Is there a match? Uh, something's going to happen soon enough, but at least Damon Starr is considered enough to cover up most of it. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll have to give him that. Oh, you could get one of those Kurt Chaos tent t-shirts, you know, from... Uh... You know, Samba Simba the tent maker or whatever. Yeah, but, you know, even with the big shirt, Kurt Chaos is not over. <laughs> oh, come on. He's the best thing going. Or is he the reflection of perfection? I thought that was Vic Vanity. Oh, and I like to send my deepest condolences out to the family of Vic Vengeance. It's too bad he had a good run. <laughs> oh, Craig, Craig, Craig. Hey, you know, if we're going to get heat, we might as well just go all out and try to get as much as possible. Uh, I think we've already got more heat than the heels in this match, if anybody can tell me who the heels are. We can flip a coin. Well, you know, generally, I would say if Grady the Homeless Avenger is in, he's a heel. But uh, I think this is one of those classic Big Bubba Luscious heels faces. We don't need no stinking heels and faces. We got gay guys, we got clowns with green pubic hair. Got badunkadunk. <laughs> with the scabs on her knees. We got a Grady the Homeless Avenger. We got some gay boy on the outside, I don't know who he is. We got a wrestler on the apron, I don't know who he is. And, uh, boy, the action. What, what is this crap? The manager's running around the ring? Uh, be careful. Alexander Kane might enjoy that. Well, uh, the, the most action we've seen in this match so far is between the managers. The managers. Yay, managers. Nothing, nothing peps up an intergender handicap tag team match like managers. Wow. This is stellar. You know, Has I don't... Has match started yet? I don't think Clunk could do anything. Oh, oh, there's a chop. Woo! I don't think Plunk could do anything to redeem himself. This is craptacular. <laughs> yeah, Plunk uh, might have, just yeah head for the exit, Plunk. I think he's hit a new low, if that's possible. Uh, he's, he's got he's not wearing the speedo tonight, Joe. That's true, you know. Oh, Craig, I'm sorry. Uh, oops, <laughs> oopsie. <laughs> yeah. Not wearing the speed up. That's true. You know, it's good to see Briar Wellington sites being re reused by somebody, but nice for someone who is Briar Wellington size. <laughs> you know, sometimes fans, as a wrestling commentator, we've learned that when the action just gets so hot and heavy and fast paced, you just kind of have to sit back and let the match tell its own story. I don't think I don't think the match could tell its own story. This is. I don't think we can. Oh. <laughs> What's the story here? Is Clunk on the stick again? Clunk's on the stick again. Oh man. I got time to go to the can again, don't I? You got time to go to the can. <laughs> you yeah, you got up. plenty of time. <laughs> oh. Boy, the fun never stops. Oh, fun never starts with this piece of shit. <laughs> wow. Oh, come on, wait. We did have that, that cool manager spot where Alexander Kane chased what's-his-name like partway around the ring before it's the true. dude jumped on his back and humped him. That's the most athletic thing I've seen Alexander Kane do so far. It's the most athletic thing we've seen in this match. It's the only thing we've seen in this match. Oh, Grady's in the ring right now. You know, he's not going to stink it up too bad. <laughs> Oh, yeah, he's like tag team champion of the abandoned mall wrestling federation. Hey, that's a great mall. You know, I stopped in there once by mistake, thinking I could go maybe hit like a GNC or a Starbucks. There's <laughs> nothing in that mall. But I will say at their Christmas show, they had free beer. So I'll put over the Millennium Wrestling Federation for the free beer. <laughs> hey. Hey, and for their tag team champion. Uh, True. All those Avengers, uh, which we're seeing half of here. Why is team with a 
Dunk it, dunk it, dunk it, dunk it, dunk it, dunk it, dunk it. I think it was something to do with like a sideshow kind of circus kind of gimmick they're trying to work for this. But you know, really, it's. I'm clueless. This is. This is bad all the way around. <laughs> the action just doesn't get any better than this, folks. That's why you got robbed when you bought this disc. Thank God for eBay and you can't find us. We'll change our seller account. <laughs> and don't worry, negative feedback doesn't scare either of us. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, we promised you in the auction heading that this was the worst wrestling video ever. We didn't mean, well, like, unintentionally funny bad. Yeah, wait, wait, worst wrestling... This isn't a Slammy's wrestling tape. <laughs> No, it's not. It's Slammers Wrestling. Slammers. 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 That's what I meant. That California promotion. That's that's what I was saying. Not Slammies. That's a WW. Oh, wait, you can't say those letters. That's a trademark item. F not. Oh, oh, man. This look, is... action. Flamin' Damon Star. Oh, big hip toss from Grady the Homeless Avenger. You know the nice thing to see, though? Somebody sold. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I just got it. Why is Roddy Hogan What the fuck's the up with that? <laughs> well, you know, the action might pick up. I, I got to think Roddy can work at least as well as pretty much everybody in but, this match. But they replaced four-star Derringer with Roddy Hogan. That must have been a ref bump we missed. I doubt it. We could rewind and go look at it. No, <laughs> please don't. Okay. All right, well, Clunk does some kind of whip to some kind of move he's thinking about. What, what, what's he going to do? Mm. Uh, aren't those Gavin Starr's tights the dude's wearing? Damon Star? No, no, the other dude that's in the ring with Punk. Those look like Gavin Star tights, if they don't have a little star on his booty. Well, maybe, you know, they took the, uh, Damon cut the star off his booty, you know, and put it on his own booty. Oh, that's just that's booty-licious. Booty-full. <laughs> As is his power move from Clunk here as he whips the other guy. Head of steam. Oh, look at that. Oh, uh, Clunk's too smart for that. Uh, wait, wait, uh, wait, wait. Clunk too smart? I don't know. I had to cut. Oh, there oh no. Go. Put it back on. The action's really uh, heating up here. Roddy Hogan uh, sharing a reaction with all of his fans. Wait, wait. Roddy Hogan fans? <laughs> Uh, you know, this is a bigger turnout than you usually get for a Metro Pro show at the Almond Hall. So true. Is that a handful of clunk pubes he has? Uh, Does he know yes, where those have is. been? Well, yeah, but Duncan Oaks right there. Okay, at least you know, at least he has an idea. Oh, that was a spot. Here's another one. Oh, wow. wow, two in a row. Oh! Hey! Close line from nowhere. Maybe we could get Bradshaw to come do his not to give that and spice this up. That'd be funny. Especially in this town. <laughs> That'd go over like balls on the Christmas table. <laughs> what was balls doing on the Christmas table? Long story. Long story. Oh, jeez, oh, Pete. Oh, but Dunkin' Dunk's seeing some action. <laughs> not the kind of action she's used to, I hear. Well, usually they find somebody you can work to put in the ring with. Usually, but this is Metro Pro. Oh, this is the Rumble Ferrari. It's better than Metro Pro. Yeah, see, if, if, if I was either uh, Chubbs or Ruben, I wouldn't show the rest of my. I wouldn't show up for the rest of this video. I would just hide out and just hold my head down in shame. Can we do that? They can't see us. We can hold <laughs> our heads down anyway. Oh, yeah, that's right. They can't see us. Uh, you don't know that I'm naked. You are? Oh, <laughs> man, he is! God! At least warn me first. Damn. Put a sock on that thing. 